Let's see what the hackers are aiming to achieve. Their initial aim is to gather your personal information. This is generally the case in mass phishing. The email sent poses as one from a bank and asks you, for example, to maintain your access to online banking by logging into a link within the body of the email. With millions of copies sent, this kind of phishing targets the bank's clients who are fooled into clicking on the link. By clicking it, they will be taken to a page with the bank's livery, which will ask for information such as your name, your account number, your ID, your passcode, your bank card number, your secret code, etc. Your data will then be sold and used against you. The hacker's second aim might be to infect your computer via malicious links. As in the case study above, the cyber attacker's aim is to get you to click on a link. In contrast, in this case, if you click, you will be taken to an infected website which will attempt to exploit a vulnerability in your workstation, infecting it in turn. The third possible aim is infecting your computer via a malicious attachment. In this case, the content of the email tries to get you to open an attachment such as a PDF file or a Microsoft Office document. These files contain malicious code, a virus, or a Trojan horse, which will be activated if opened. If successful, your computer will become infected. By infecting your computer, whether via a link or an attachment, the hacker will then be able to harvest your data, spy on what you're doing, harvest your passwords, and also carry out new attacks from your computer. The fourth aim that hackers may seek to achieve is to perpetuate a fraud. Mass phishing includes frauds in which the email makes the recipient believe they've won a lottery, that it comes from a fictitious charitable organization collecting donations following a disaster, or from a person seeking to repatriate a large amount of money to your country by requesting your help for which you will be paid. For targeted phishing, the fraud is more dangerous and will be devised on the basis of your environment and the hacker's aims. See you soon!